eight years of development, seven months of dark space, and seven minutes of terror. In July 2020, NASA will launch its latest and the most ambitious mission to Mars, as it lays the groundwork for a manned mission in the near future. The Perseverance, as the rover is called, will collect and cache promising samples for eventual return to Earth. We'll search for signs of past microbial life, characterize the planet's climate and geology, and for the first time ever, an aircraft called Mars Helicopter Scout is going to fly on another planet. But before we can get there, we must first overcome a long and extremely dangerous path. The mission will launch in July or August 2020 aboard the United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida. The landing is expected in February 2021. Surface operations will last at least one Mars year, which is about 687 Earth days. The whole phase of the Mars 2020 mission include launch, cruise, approach, entry, descent and landing, instrument checks and first drive. The Atlas V rocket was chosen because it has the right liftoff capability for the heavy weight requirements for the mission. This rocket type has had more than 80 launches with no complete failures, making it among the most reliable in the world. The Mars Science Laboratory mission had a total launch mass, including the Atlas V, of about 530,000 kilograms. NASA has also successfully used rockets in the same family for prior missions, such as Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, New Horizons and Juno. Centerpiece of the first stage is the core booster, 32 meters in length and 3.8 meters in diameter. It uses a Russian-built engine which is fueled by kerosene and liquid oxygen. The fuel is loaded shortly before launch into cylindrical tanks that make up about half of the total height of the vehicle. Four solid rocket boosters strapped onto the common core booster add to the thrust produced by the first stage. Each of these boosters is 19.5 meters long and delivers about 300,000 pounds of thrust. Three interstage adapters connect the first stage of the Atlas with its Centaur upper stage. The Centaurs had a restartable engine that uses liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen and can provide up to about 22,000 pounds of thrust. The Centaur can control its orientation precisely, which is important for managing the direction of thrust while its engine is firing. It carries its own flight control computer and can release its payload with the desired altitude and spin rate. The engine fired twice, once to insert the vehicle's spacecraft stack into low Earth orbit and then again to accelerate the spacecraft out of Earth orbit and on its way towards Mars. The spacecraft rides into the sky inside a protective payload fairing atop the Centaur stage. With the payload fairing on top, the vehicle stands approximately 58 meters tall when it's ready for launch. The spacecraft is the protective spaceship that enables the precious cargo to travel between Earth and Mars. It's separate from the launch vehicle that carries the spacecraft and the rover outside of Earth's atmosphere and gravitational pull. The spacecraft includes the mechanical units that safely carry and maneuver the rover through the Martian atmosphere to landing on Mars. The heat shield on the left and the back shell on the right comprise the air shell. Both components are nearly 4.5 meters in diameter. The air shell will encapsulate and protect Perseverance rover and its descent stage. The mission is designed to launch at a time when Earth and Mars are in positions in their orbits that is advantageous for spacecraft traveling and landing on Mars. This favorable position of the planets means that it takes less launch energy to get to the Red Planet, compared to other times when Earth and Mars are in different positions in their orbits around the Sun. In the next part, we will talk about Perseverance rover and its instruments, and why the landing on Mars is called 7 minutes of terror.
The Order of Daibendu is an ancient peacekeeping organization dedicated to serve the citizens and inhabitants of the galaxy. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking and sharing. Also, don't forget to join our ranks by clicking the subscribe button.